It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the Magic in Orlando. So for the Magic, their last game, a win against the Pacers. Feeling confident after a runaway win. We'll see if they carry over some of that momentum. Last season under coach Alvin Gentry, the Pelicans tried a more up-tempo approach. They had a rough start to the year, but improved later on. Kenny, what do you make of the change in offensive philosophy for the Pels? Well, I think it wasn't anything to do with uh, Coach Gentry's uh, game plan. It was more to do with the players implementing it and understanding how to run it. And once they started to simplify it. The Magic are about to go into this interconference contest right here. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. The Pelicans coming to town, hoping to notch one here. And we've got time for a. Well, guys, Anthony Davis's ascent to stardom has been almost as quick as the physical growth that transformed his game. Thanks, D.A. As I recall, he said that was a tough adjustment, but he's been ahead of the curve ever since. Start out with the ball. Orlando leading. And for NBA teams, the hardest thing to do is to get superstar talent, obviously. The, the Pelicans have that in Anthony Davis. How, Greg, do you think they build around him? Well, a, a big part of it is just him staying healthy. I mean, we all know this is the team that's had horrible luck in that regard. Now they're shaping personnel to fit the new coaching staff. A bit more shooting, more depth. I, I think that's going to be key. Hill passes to Bondexter. Outside, Jones. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going to win. Well, I don't think there's any question about that. All right, bring it in. Let's talk, gentlemen. Hey, if we let up on D, even a little, it's enough to get their guy going. When with the percentage as low as theirs that often, unless you defend. No style points earned for sure, Greg, in that game, but they did hit the big shot when they needed them, and oftentimes it's not what you do as much as when you do it. And the Magic making a change here as Anya's checked in, and Moore kicks to Pondexter. Back to Moore. Takes the three. The shot, no good. Good defensive work there by Young. From deep. And Young just driven the three there. Nice look. Yeah, and that's the shot that's dropping for Young when he is playing with confidence. Galloway kicks to Moore. Over to the left wing. There's Galloway. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Shot clock at six. Outside, Jones. Here's Moore. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. It looks like he took that last three a little personal. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Greg. You saw it in his eyes. I mean, heck, that was a payback shot right there. I, I don't think there's any doubt. Combo dishes to Young. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't 
say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Well, let's take a look at what Justice Young's done tonight. Already with eight points and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. Hill against Gordon. One thirty-three left to play in the first. Hill kicks to Moore. Beyond the arc. Orlando grabs the miss. They defeated Indiana in their last game. They just looked stable pretty much from the get-go, guys. I mean, sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in a road game that you don't see at home, but not the case in that one. Tremendous balance on display, Greg. I mean, when you look at who was carrying the scoring load, making assists, playing unselfishly, I mean, they had it all working, and that led to the nice road win. Here's Galloway. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Galloway has got his first points in this one. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Kicks it to Biombo. Addition out to Prez. 13 feet away. The shot, no good. And New Orleans will come the other way. Galloway, the pass to Hill. Off target from three-point range. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Here's Prez. Misses off the right iron. Pelicans trail by six. Twenty-three seconds left here in the first quarter. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Pelicans have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. Magic leading by five. Left side, Gordon. Count that bucket. And with Brez, you get it all. Outstanding passes to his guys who have clean looks at the basket. There's Galloway. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And he beats the buzzer to end the quarter. And here's more from Prez now on his relationship with teammate Justice. Uh, to be honest with you, man, our friendship didn't start off great. Um, but I think what brought us together was our work ethic. I mean, we're both hardcore gym rats, man. We love the game. And that's a deep bond that you, you can't really teach, you know. You either have it or you don't. And, uh, and I know we both have it. How important is it, guys, to find common ground with your teammates you know, away from the game, off the court? Well, I think all the best teams have a level of camaraderie in the locker room. It, it's all about making the effort. You know, you don't have to be best friends with your teammates by any means, but it helps when you have something in common like Prez and Young have. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. So for New Orleans right now, they've got Hill. who's out there with Quincy Pondexter. Davis is out there with Etwan Moore. And it's Galloway in at the one. 
And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Magic. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Shot clock at six. He feeds it to Pondexter. Wide open look. Fournier pulls it down. Magic leading by eight. And a 6-7 swingman out of France, Evan Fournier, played three years professionally in his home country. Yeah, and guys, from a young age, he was the go-to scorer for his team. He wasn't shy about demanding the ball from his teammates. Actually relished that role. That confidence has served him well as an NBA player. Outside, Meeks. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the match. And so it's New Orleans with it. Holiday dishes to Moore. Jones kicks to Holiday. The feed now to Davis. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Davis has got five now. Offensively. Great job, guys. Nice work. Biggest seed now. Let's talk. Hey, we're in great shape, fellas. Now, no matter how much we go, which is contract in NBA history at that point, $145 million over five years. He'd already become a superstar player, now freed from the rookie scale. He's finally paid them. A minute 50 left in the second quarter. And the call will be against Prez. I'm Prez. That'll be his second and I foul of the game. Steal. Presidential party. Here's more. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Holiday. Vucevic with the block. And his struggles continue. Just still scoreless and, and just can't seem to take the lid off. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Perez with the bucket. We talk about the big contract for Davis. A lot of money for a young guy, but you don't much worry that he'll get his priorities break twisted. A great point, Kevin. He's a team first guy, all about winning, and he doesn't take it for granted. He didn't have all the hype growing up, but now he's living a dream, and he knows it. But he aspires to be great, and he's not settling for anything else. Perez kicks to Gordon. Passes it to Vucevic. Feeds it to Perez. The elbow, Vucevic. Young inside. Moore's there. They get the rebound. Vucevic battles through traffic and lays it in. Ten points for him. You know, he's putting on an outstanding offensive display, and he may just be getting warmed up here. Holiday, the pass to Moore. Deflects the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. Oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. It's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. A chance here to go two for one. Boy, 
They've got to ramp up the speed and make it happen in a hurry. And just not able to find a target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Here's more. Another one falls for New Orleans. 20 seconds left now here in the second. No need to rush here. They could play for one shot. Yeah, and I think the way you do it, you're patient as you indicated, and wait until about the five-second mark before you get into your play. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Perez kicks to Vucevic. It's stolen by Jones. Here's Holiday. And a pretty tightly contested. Kevin, thanks. With me, Coach Alvin Gentry. Coach, how... Bring it in. We have not won this game yet. Listen, guys. We've got one guy doing... We're back with you in Orlando where you can see some of the street art that adorns this beautiful city. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. It's been one outstanding... Making some changes. Yambo, he's checked in for Vucevic. Jody Meeks comes in for Jeff Green. And Prez is subbed in for Peyton. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Terrence Jones is checked in for Ash. Solomon Hill comes in for Tyreek Evans. Quincy Pondexter is checked in for Heal. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Drew Holiday. Fournier and Ibaka are in the forward slots. Jody Meeks out there with Prez. And it's Biombo at the pivot spot manning the middle. This is out there for Orlando. That, that is pure muscle from Perez, not letting anyone get in his way on these shots. Galloway kicks to Davis. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. And the Pelicans miss again. The Magic have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Dishes to Perez. For the lead, again, the Magic score. There's Galloway. Five points in the game. Outside Hill. On the wing, Jones. Covered by Biombo. Hill dishes to Galloway. Pick up by Hill. Galloway kicks to Hill. Five to shoot. No good from outside. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Over in the corner, Meeks. He dishes it to Prez. Expanding his range. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Pondexter kicks to Galloway. It's stolen by Prez. And here we go. Meeks, good. And it's a four-point Magic lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Magic. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Now here's Prez. Guarded close. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The Frenchman Fournier always looking to get the shot up, but really good at drawing fouls. The Magic have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. And, you know, you don't have to tell them what their free throw numbers are. I mean, they're well aware of it, believe me. Gordon's checked in for Orlando. Young comes in for Meeks. And New Orleans also making a change. Moore's checked in. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. No good on 
on that one. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Orlando. And in their two matchups last season, they came up empty both times. Not really too shocking when you see how they fared overall. Exactly. I mean, when you lose as much as they did last year, you'll get beat by teams that aren't playoff powers for sure. Perez passes to Biombo. Good on the bucket. Biombo's got four points now in the quarter. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Pelicans trail by four. Here's Galloway. He has five. It's stolen by Prez. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And here we go with the breakdown tonight of the front court and back court rebounding numbers for New Orleans. And their big men are getting the bigger percentage of these boards. You, you know, you expect that. And they'll need them to continue to patrol the paint and clean up the mess if they're going to win this game. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. The first one falls. Hey guys, Perez playing well. He has eight points and two steals as well. He's given them a lot with his passing and with his defensive work. How about the activity of those hands here today? Mario Hazonia has checked in for Fournier. And then for New Orleans, Davis comes in for Jones. And Tyreek Evans is subbed in for Langston Galloway. Bangs home the trifecta. Ondexer's got himself on the board with three there. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. No doubt the defense had better play a little tighter. Gordon dishes to Prez. Back to Gordon. He kicks to Biombo. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Four on the clock. Here's Prez. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Prez has got ten points in the game. Even with high-intensity defense surrounding Prez, he makes these shots look simple. I mean, that's a gift, folks. He takes his time, stays in rhythm, and doesn't mind the pressure. Davis sets a screen. Evans kicks to Davis. A rebound by Hazania. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. When you look at Mario Hazonia, six foot eight, guys, you see him as more of a small forward or a shooting guard. Well, I think he's a swing man. Um, you can play him at both positions, undoubtedly. He's got small forward size and the athleticism and scoring ability to play the shooting guard spot. Um, I think it just depends on the matchups and what you're trying to get done in any given game. As to Pondexter. Back to Evans. Poked away. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. He's having a great game at the free throw line, Kevin. His hot streak continues. Magic leading by five. Rez passes to Gordon. To the paint. Here's Prez. The shot, no good. Hill with some nice D. New Orleans has gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Pass to Evans. Shot from 16. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. And that's 19 points for Tyreek Evans. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it, good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. And Tyreek Evans is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game.
the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello, everybody. Glad you could join us here on 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. The fans are filling the seats in Orlando, the site of our broadcast, and where the magic will be going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Well, it was the Mavericks winning their last game against Memphis. That game a high-scoring affair. We'll see if this one turns into a shootout as well. And the Mavs are just so good at getting the looks they want. Always one of the more explosive teams in the league. What makes them so great on the offensive end, Jet? Well, great shot selection. You know, Ernie, they're fifth in the league last year in field goal percentage. You know, they're patient. They move the ball around. And then when your best player, Dirk Nowitzki, takes great shots, it just bleeds into the rest of the team. That's right. The iron leg assassin can bail you out of bad possession with that turnaround. That iron leg turn. to 2K Sports Live Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks. And let's go straight over. Well, Mavs head coach Rick Carlisle is known for his command of X's and O's. Great stuff, DA. Thank you. And the Mavericks last season acquiring Wes Matthews. They thought they'd make a huge free agent coup in acquiring center DeAndre Jordan, but he ended up backing out of his verbal agreement and then staying with the L.A. Clippers. Yeah, a real gut punch moment for a franchise that had been trying for years to acquire a star. And so it's Dallas with it. They lead by seven. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And how about the game plan that was constructed for that one? I mean, it was apparent how powerless the D was to stop it. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I mean, they just didn't have Hustle up. Let's figure this out now. Let's go. We've got to improve our offensive execution, gentlemen. We cannot settle for contested jumpers. Time out here. Anything to try to get them to forget about the missed shots and, and get themselves back on track. Prez dishes to Biamba, and he converts the layup. Super focus from Prez. Outstanding awareness to spot the open man. Here's Berea. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Memphis. On the wing, Harris. Down low. Six to shoot. From 15 feet away, good on the bucket. Perea's got five now. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Now here's Perea. Started by Berea. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for the Mavericks. And they love to spread the floor with shooting. A lot of three-point attempts. And that's been the league-wide direction. And this group has been no exception. That free throw, no good. Boy, you got to love the passion Press plays with. When he's on the floor, he's going all out on every possession. And he sinks the second. Let's go. Keep the energy up. Keep the Here's Berea. He's got five. Pass to Measury. Gordon against Barr. He feeds it to Berea. Just five to shoot. He dishes it to Harris. Prez brings the double team. Harris. 
and the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. While we have a break, we can see <laughs> which play, teams man. have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. The Magic in third. It's really something to see. Their effort on the offensive glass has just led to so many second chance opportunities. Now here's Prez. Not a lot of room. The dish to Biombo. Good D by Barnes. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Curry shot is off. The Magic trail by eight. Takes the three. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Dallas has gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Barnes passes to Harris. Feeds to Berea. Barnes against Gordon. Barnes kicks to Curry. Harris dishes to Barnes. Here's Curry. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. And the Mavericks lead by 10. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Biambo. That's good. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Berea kicks to measure. Passes it to Barnes. There's a good screen. The feed to Berea. No good on the three. For Orlando, they won their last contest that game against New Orleans. You know, sometimes you're going to win because of your performance, and, and on occasion, which was the case for them, it's the play of your opponent that allows you to escape with wins. Well, you're right. I mean, there were a lot of turnovers in that game, some caused by their good defensive play, but some were just carelessness. To the inside, shoots, measuring misses. It's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Prez. Off target from three-point range. Curry kicks to Barnes. Pass to Berea. Here's the three. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Mavericks lead by... He caught up with Perez on signing his first major shoe endorsement. How his wife... Man, I am excited to join the brand and be part of the family. I mean, honestly, it, it, it all happened so fast that it was like, it was kind of surreal. I was, uh, I was joking the other day that signing my shoe deal was almost harder than choosing a college. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's great to see all my hard work starting to pay dividends on and off the court. Well, for someone who just inked a very lucrative shoe deal, Greg, it sounds like his focus is still on the court. Sometimes, Kevin, rookies can't understand. On the floor for Orlando. Dallas also making some changes. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Bogut. Harrison Barnes comes in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Seth Curry in for Harris. On the floor right now for the Mavericks, J.J. Barea is out there with Curry. Then there's Nowitzki. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Mejri in at the five. Vucevic down low. He's against Mejri. Well, as we just get started in this season, let's take a look at where the Magic sit in the NBA stats. Third in opponent offense, third in second chance points. And they're among the NBA's most opportunistic teams. I mean, in terms of scoring points off turnovers, they've carved out a spot in the top five in the league. 
And you talk about their ranking in terms of opponents' points per game. They really stifle teams. I mean, they eliminate the easy runouts in transition, and they force you to play five on five and take difficult shots. And the size and skill set that Vucevic possesses makes it hard for defenders. He's agile as a seven-footer, and he also has enough body and knows how to use it that um, defenses have a real problem with. So it's Orlando now. It's a 10-point game. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Bucks at BMO Harris Bradley Center in Milwaukee. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Green kicks to Vucevic. Eight away. Good. Vucevic has got eight. Buckets, but he should have just gone straight up with it instead of trying to fade away. Mavericks leading by eight. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Dirk Nowitzki says he can still picture himself as that kid from Wurzburg. To him, it's surreal being listed among the legends atop the NBA scoring chart. But coach Rick Carlisle is less circumspect. He said there's never been a seven-footer who's played his position the way he's played it to his age. And he has a lot of good basketball left in him. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., a game that's built to last. Prez kicks to Green. Vucevic to the pass to Prez. Here's Azania, guarded by Berea. Fires from the line. Here's Vucevic. Banked in off the glass. Vucevic has got seven now in this quarter. Boy, the hustle by Vucevic. I mean, showing real commitment and investment on the glass and finding ways to come up with second-chance opportunities for his team. That's um, very impressive. Kicks to Berea. Nowitzki. Outside, pass to Barnes. And Berea has it in the corner. Another miss by Berea. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Green dishes to Prez. From 11 feet away, that shot off, and the Mavericks going the other way now. 11 feet away, and another basket for Dallas. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. 114 left in the first half. The Magic trail by 10. To the left wing. Pizonia kicks to Pratt. Here's Vucevic. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Looking at the numbers for Vucevic, he's got 10 points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And, and Clark, that might not make the highlight reel, but those are important points nonetheless. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Mavericks leading by nine. Fifty-four seconds left to play here in the half. And it's Dallas with another. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Orlando's gone 104 from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Prez passes to Vucevic. He kicks it to Prez. Young against Curry. Fires the three. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Yeah, and just yeah. superb work Chris. there by Young. So unselfish with the basketball. Really likes getting the ball to his teammate. Borea kicks to Barnes. Down low. Here's Mesri. Shock up two there. Mesri's got his first bucket in this one. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. The 
the Magic trail by 10. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Prez dishes to Vucevic. Young from outside. That was enough space for Young to convert the deep ball. And Young can knock those down if you give him the chance. Now Berea, nine points in the game so far. Wonderful defense that time. Perez pulling out all the stops. And the first half is now in the books. And Let's go, gentlemen. We still have one more half. Listen, guys. We've got one guy doing all... Welcome back, folks, to downtown skyline of Orlando, Florida. Looking especially striking tonight. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Biombo is checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Serge Ibaka. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Jeff Green. And Prez is subbed in for Alfred Payton. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Mejuri, he's checked in for Bogut. Curry comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Evan Harris is checked in for Wesley Matthews. And Berea subbed in for Williams. Prez, he's in at the point. Gordon out there with Evan Fournier. Then it's Jody Meeks. And it's Biombo at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Knocked away. And that's a foul called on J.J. Berea. That is his first foul of the game. And the Magic making a change here. Young's checked in. So it's Orlando now. Down by 15. Prez kicks to Biombo. And stolen by Biombo. Now, here's Meeks. Guarded by Harris. Prez with the ball. Inside with his first shot attempt. That one off the back iron and out. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. And the call will be against Prez. That's his first foul. Harris against Young. Harris kicks to Curry. Dishes to Berea. Six on the shot clock. Buries it from three-point range. Berea's got 15 points. And they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. Pass to Prez. He tries for three. Mavericks with the rebound. Barnes has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now here's Berea. 15 points in the game. It's Biombo with the rebound. Biombo's got three rebounds now in this one. And Young kicks to Prez. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has six. Man, I like to see Prez get aggressive inside. Really determined to score when he gets that close to the rim. Defense. Defense. Outside Curry. Defense. 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 Back to Berea. Defense. Defense. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And the Mavericks lead by 18. 149 left in the third. Orlando's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Young outside. He feeds it to Prez. Let's it go from deep. 
Mavericks with the rebound. Here's Berea, 17 points in the game. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Mavericks leading by 20. It's stolen by Prez. Young with no one around. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Young's got his second bucket of the game to go. How about that quick trigger? Excellent quickness on the release of the shot. No way the defense can catch up to Young when he's firing as fast as that. Harris kicks to Measury. Outside Curry. Harris against Young. And stolen by Gordon. And now the fast break. Prez with the ball. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That's really tremendous work inside from Prez. Just taking it to the defense and easily earning the call. And he knocks down the first one. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Jody Meeks. Dallas also making some changes. Hammonds comes in for measure. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Seth Curry. Thank you for making me draw those crunches, Zach. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. Berea kicks to Matthews. And the shot goes down. Matthews has got 15. I love the low post attack on that one. The Magic trail by 18. And here is Prez. He's got eight, and it's good. Pop through contact, it's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. So it'll be Prez shooting. Harrison Barnes picks one up. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Dallas. That free throw good from Prez. That one's for you, Mama. That one's for you. Mavericks leading by 15. Now Berea. He's got 19. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. with possession here and Matthews kicks to Barnes from 13 blessed with awesome physical tools Ibaka can alter shots anywhere on the floor from deep three-point range and it would have counted had it fallen but it's offline and as we end the third quarter a double digit deficit. Rick Carlisle had some words for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Right now, right now it's winning time, all right? Right now it's winning time. We got to make plays down. And we're getting underway. <laughs> On the floor for Dallas, we've got Bogut. Darren Williams out there with J.J. Barea. Then there's Nowitzki, and it's Barnes, and it's the small forward. 